So we're going to use a pan and we're going to cover it with a foil. For this recipe, I have used um, chilies, red pepper, red onion, and um, some spring onion. So firstly, you need to cover your pan with some foil so that your veggies don't just burn while you roast them in the oven. And then you're going to put your red pepper, spring onion, and some chilies and some red onion and you're gonna drizzle them with some oil and grill them for about 10 to 15 minutes on 180 degrees in a food processor you are going to add all your roasted veggies um you're just gonna add them all like all of them can add them there season them with some black pepper season them with some paprika add in some fresh thyme and top it off with some nando sauce and you can also oh you should also add uh what's this a cooking oil so that um your mixture does not come out um dry There I have a whole chicken, um, you can find it at any grocery store and I have a pair of scissors and I'm trying to locate the spine of the chicken which is the back of the chicken and we're gonna need to cut all the spine, remember to rinse your chicken so because you see it's bleeding so um, Remember to rinse your chicken. There, I was just trying to locate the spine and I think I have found it. Remove the spine and any excessive skin. Rinse your chicken and we're gonna start seasoning it. After removing any excessive skin, lie flat your chicken and just lie it for it. stretch it to the best of your capability and season it with some salt and black pepper. You can use as much black pepper as you want, definitely it really makes no difference. Season both sides. Make sure that you season both sides of your chicken. the pan that you used to roast your veggies and place your chicken and you're going to take your processed mixture and apply it on both sides of the chicken remember to preheat your oven on 180 degrees while you are busy applying the sauce on your chicken
roast your chicken for 25 to 30 minutes um, flipping it over changing both sides of the chicken so that your chicken gets cooked really well um, on this clip here you can tell that i had already flipped it and now we're going to try to get it back to its original state the state that i put it in in the oven so that we can be able to apply our sauce on our cooked chicken In a separate bowl, you are going to add your blended marinade and also add a fresh cream and mix everything all together. Mix, mix, mix. It looks like we are going to need more cream. Add more cream and keep mixing. I don't know why that cream was just so thick but keep mixing and we're going to add our nando's sauce to the mixture remember it's any flavor of your choice just do that and apply that on your chicken the cream helps to make uh, the marinade more runny and more creamier Apply the marinade on both sides of your chicken. Just be generous. Don't be stingy. And there you have it. You have your uh, Nando's or Nando's lookalike chicken. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think or what is your take. And I will see you guys in my next video.